We are all aware about what is happening in Ukraine, where, due to the war, thousands of people lost their lives and millions are displaced. On this World Hunger Day, Caritas Internationalis highlights how this war is also having dire consequences in the entire globe, especially regarding food insecurity. In this war, food insecurity has become a passive weapon to starve people to death, not only in Ukraine, but all over the world. The breadbasket is turned into a war field and will affect the global food security. In Syria, the prices of staple food like bread is skyrocketing. In Rohingya camps in Bangladesh, refugees are now cultivating vegetables on the rooftop of their shelters. We run the risk of food riots in the least developed countries due to either the scarcity of food or the lack of food items. The COVID-19 pandemic already increased by 130 million the number of people at the risk of starvation. Now, this war will severely aggravate the situation. Et, et là où nous observons les, les effets de, de la crise ukrainienne, c'est que beaucoup d'économies, dont par exemple le Sénégal, euh, il y a des produits alimentaires qui sont importés, notamment le blé, notamment euh, le, le riz, et donc Toutes ces importations ont aujourd'hui rencontré des difficultés pour se réaliser et donc ce qui fait envisager effectivement des difficultés sur le plan de la sécurité alimentaire quand on y ajoute les conséquences qui sont déjà établies avec la faiblesse de la pluviométrie qui a donc des, des effets sur les ressources alimentaires disponibles. Passados deux ans de pandémie, avec toute la problématique que ça signifie, también nos llega un impacto del, de lo que es la guerra de Ucrania en Ucrania eh, ante la presencia rusa en su territorio. Entonces, eh, los impactos sobre las cadenas alimentarias en América Latina también se dejan sentir. Eh, y también porque eh, los precios de los hidrocarburos han subido notoriamente y eso hace que también sea muy difícil en la distribución de los alimentos. Nowadays the priorities uh, are changing. We all know that also with the war in East Europe uh, it's having impact everywhere uh, on this globe, but especially also in our region. In our region because uh, big, uh, I mean especially for food security, uh, many products are imported from this region and it's affecting the situation. The Ukraine issue has high negative impact on Asian countries in three different areas. One is food, another is fuel, and third one is fertilizer. Many of the countries are agriculture based and they need fertilizer. And Ukraine, Russia is one of the main sources of fertilizer. And then food also is depending on import from Ukraine and Russia. Fuel, again, is another major issue. So uh, right now, the number of poverty affected people are just double than two years ago. And the badly need kind of a sustainable system for food. But how can this be a big challenge for people over there?